NBC Sports, home of Super Bowl 52. Thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. This Friday, Blind Spot moves to its new night. New tattoos. The Blind Spot returns this Friday on NBC. It's the Double Steel Showdown. You don't want to miss the voice new Monday and Tuesday. HSS is a one-of-a-kind organization. We've had great success exporting our brand to other health systems around the world. When we go anywhere in the world, we make sure our team goes. The partnership with HSS has taken our product to another level of excellence. Quality is quality. Whether you're in Brazil or South Korea, you take the best of what we do here, adapt it to their environment, and make sure that the outcomes are they're the same or better quality. The 2017 Nissan Rogue, with available automatic emergency braking that can help stop for you. And motion activated lift gate. We still got some tricks left to you. Take on today, the Nissan Rogue family. Lease today, starting at just $159 per month, or with an owner loyalty lease, get Pathfinder, just $239 per month. Right now on NBC Connecticut. After an unbelievable weekend, we have big changes on the way. We've issued a first alert for heavy rain and damaging winds in my first alert forecast. Extra security planned at one school. What detectives discovered on social media that has them concerned? A mystery unfolding in New Britain. Why police need your help identifying the victim of a serious accident. Expo canceled. It failed. It was a business that failed. And, uh, you know, now I'm trying to rectify that as best I can. Now vendors say they're out hundreds of dollars. How NBC Connecticut responds got answers right now. NBC Connecticut News starts now. You saw the fog in Foxborough, and it's heading our way. And we also have a first alert for heavy rain and strong winds. Hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Brooks. I'm Keisha Grant. When can we expect that stormy weather to move in? Meteorologist Ryan Hanrahan timing it all out. Your first alert forecast. Ryan. Yeah, that fog during the football game was something else, and we have some of that fog that's beginning to move back into Connecticut. Visibilities, for the most part, are pretty good right now. But check out southeastern Connecticut and Stonington. The visibility is down to a mile and three quarters. We're going to see the fog backing in from Rhode Island to Massachusetts as we go through the overnight hours. And by tomorrow morning, some areas will have some locally dense fog. So fog and some clouds when you wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures near 50. By afternoon, we'll see a lot of clouds out there, a little bit of mist, a few sprinkles or some drizzle developing by later tomorrow afternoon. But for right now, you can see some clouds showing up on the satellite and radar picture. Down to the south, we've got quite a storm that's developing through portions of the Midwest. A ton of moisture moving in from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. And that storm will be ours for Tuesday, Tuesday night, and Wednesday. So clouds and some sprinkles tomorrow, nothing worse than that. But by later Tuesday, heavy rain moves in. We're talking about one to three inches of rain in some towns and the potential for damaging winds as well with wind gusts of between 45 and 60 miles per hour. We'll talk a lot more about that storm coming up in just a few minutes. Keisha, back over to you. Ryan, thank you. Police in Mansfield aren't taking any chances. They'll be on hand at the middle school tomorrow morning following a student's threatening post on social media. Detectives are confident that threat is not credible, but state troopers will be at the school on Spring Hill Road to give parents and students some peace of mind. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin live in Mansfield with more. Matt. Well, Keisha, yeah, police are urging parents to monitor their kids' activity right here on social media, and school administrators are thanking that person who noticed that concerning post and took action. When students, parents, and staff show up at Mansfield Middle School on Monday, they should expect to see state police patrolling the grounds after a...